Hi, in this video, I'm looking at evaluating inverse reciprocal trigonometric functions. So what I mean is, let's just say we have the equation that the secant of x is equal to 5 over 4. And I want to know what is x. Well, that will mean that if I want to do this, I have to find the inverse of secant of 5 over 4. Now, to work out the inverse of secant, it's actually easier if we take a bit of a sidestep before we get to that and actually think about secant as being 1 over cos x, which it is. So we've got 1 over cos x equals 5 over 4. And if we think about it like this, if I can isolate the cos x, I can then get the inverse of cos. And to do this, because I've got a fraction on the left and a fraction on the right, I can swap both of my fractions. I can take the reciprocal of both of my fractions and get that cos of x is equal to 4 fifths. And so now we can get x, which is going to be the inverse cos of 4 fifths. So we've gone from the secant of 5 quarters to the inverse cosine of 4 fifths. And if you go and put that into your calculator, you'll find that we get 36.87 degrees if we do this in degrees. And so that means that we get the inverse secant of 5 quarters is the inverse cos of 4 fifths. So we have 36.87 degrees over here. And we do know that because this rotates around, we're going to get more and more answers. But for now, we're just going to look for the answer between 0 and whatever our angle comes out to be in 90 degrees. So we're just going to stay within that bound. So let's have a look at a second one. So let's have a look at the cotangent of, oops, not the cost of x, the cotangent of x is equal to 0 0.5. Well, that means that we have 0 0.5 is the same as a half. So that means I've got 1 over 10 of x is 1 half. So we want to know when is 10 of x equal to 2, which means that we find out the inverse 10 of 2. And putting that into our calculator, we get an answer of 63.4 three degrees. So nice, quick and easy. Let's have a look at one last one just so that we don't miss out on our third and final cosecant of x. Then let's see what happens if that's equal to eight thirds. Well then that's going to be the reciprocal of cosecant is one over sine of x. So we have 1 over sine of x equals 8 thirds, which means we have the sine of x equals 3 eighths. So we can find the inverse sine of 3 eighths. Putting that into our calculator, we get 22.02 degrees. And we're done. So if you are asked to evaluate the inverse of a reciprocal trigonometric function or solve a trigonometric equation which involves the reciprocal trigonometric functions which means you'll end up needing to do that inverse at some point it's easy to think about writing the reciprocal function as the reciprocal of the original sorting out the algebra so that you get that original trig function on its own and then just find the inverse of that